Oana says, hi, I need some advice or help with PowerPoint Live. I use a company account, so not personally. When I try to share with the PowerPoint Live function, everything is perfect except for the fact that the slides change only for me, uh, not for the participants. The other participants also tried to share via PowerPoint Live, and the same thing happens. They can change the slides, but we only see the first slide. We do not use Teams through the browser, only the application installed on work laptops. Any ideas? Yes, there's a lot of problems with PowerPoint Live. Period. Stop. All right, full stop. Let's move full on stop. to the next question. No, yeah, no, it's well, it's still in preview, though, isn't it? Yeah, officially. I so. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. I mean, this is a problem that we've seen, or sometimes the more common one. In fact, it just experienced it today. Was somebody was using PowerPoint Live, and then there was it the chat that wasn't working, or um. There's something else that stopped working. Just some people like the cameras weren't working or they, they couldn't come on screen. And, you know, so there's some some issues. And I always love to share advice where sometimes it's a matter of, did you try turning it off and on again? <laughs> um, but it actually it, fixes it sometimes. Microsoft is getting to the point with PowerPoint where that's like becoming a major multiplexing switching operation. You know, you present on one screen, you've got your um, presenter view on another, and, you know, you're bringing in feeds and different things. I imagine it's going to start, if they continue in the direction they're going, um, it's going to transform the product, I think. We're going to get into think, an AV solution. I think they actually are, they, they, they've thrown too much into it, to be honest with you. Um, I remember when PowerPoint just used to be a presentation, like you said, Sean, exactly. They're, they're going up against their competition. They're trying to co compete against uh, Audition and they're trying to compete against Prezi. And uh, they're just, they're, they're not there. Um, it's like, you know, it, it, they're trying to throw this stuff in, throw in the kitchen sink, if you will. Um, but I just think that the, the addition of, of the feature like live it just wasn't it's not ready it's not yeah. it's something that just isn't there um and to be honest with you i don't know a lot of people that even use it because they're already in a team session they're already in a in a zoom session or whatever they're yeah, in you're all looking at the I, screen yeah i, I know a bunch of people that are trying to use it but they we I, so this is a common issue it's been out there for weeks um that this issue so i mean it's not something oh Anna, i wish we had a better answer for for that it's a it's just it's a known issue and it's i think it's just to mike's point it's where the product is right now still bacon yeah so it it works sometimes sometimes it does it doesn't um i mean i like the features i've done a couple things now where i was able to go in and 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 do something where the, the presentation behind me and i was on screen so i've the used other cameo. streaming technologies yeah the cameo, the cameo. Uh, view yeah. and i mean so it's it's nice to have that and it's also great to be able to be in a presentation and have uh, uh links within your deck and people can live click, click right there and right. Yeah. get to the assets that's fantastic absolutely it is. it's it just is. a it's a bit wonky right now i think the same thing with teams i mean i i compare sharepoint to teams right now uh, because Teams is still wonky. It's been wonky for two years ever since, you know, the big push with COVID. You know, everybody needed something to use, so it was either Zoom Wait, or Teams. Are you claiming or... Teams was infected by COVID? What are you claiming? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I, this is how rumors not... start, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Nelson, Microsoft MVP, <laughs> claims that. <laughs> No, I think that, uh, I mean, we, we had this conversation several times when we were doing the the regular show, um, uh, you know, during COVID in 20, 2020 and 2021, where teams was just, you know, there were pieces missing, there were parts falling off, there were, you know, there weren't any replacement parts that we could order, uh, you know, to, to fix it, that type of deal. <laughs> yeah, it was a work in progress. Yeah, it was. I mean, it continues uh, to be. It continues to be. I think there's a big thing I just saw about, you know, the whole it's, it's still an integration where, you know, Teams is kind of still having problems with uh, bandwidth, um, mm -hmm. you know, trying to manage bandwidth. That's what happens when you try and put 49 different people on, you know, video at one time over a 200 megabit Internet connection, you know. <laughs> <laughs> with all the rest of the chats and the file sharing and yeah. uh, like everything else that's going on 
Well, I know that's one of the unfair comparisons that happens with Zoom and other players out there. It's like, right, because they're doing like one little sliver of the functionality of what Teams does. Yeah, yeah. they are. But they but compression, you can only you can only compress data yeah. so much. The people I mean, writing those codecs <laughs> are, you know, struggling to just, make it all stressing. fit. Yeah. They, you know, I've, they got the they got the senior folks coming down and saying, "You got to make it smaller. You got to make it smaller." <laughs> I have to say that's one of the brilliant uh, aspects of the show, uh, Silicon Valley, was the fact that their primary product was just a compression algorithm. Robinhood, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Search and compression are the two things where they're all. You know, continually be innovation around. 